What's going on, guys? Um, this video is about annotation processing. Um, we, there's two ways you can do annotation processing or deal with annotations. One of them is reflection, but that's not really annotation processing. That's um, you'll have access to your annotations in, through reflections, but the true definition of annotation processing comes from a services provided. Um, I think starting Java six, yeah, the you could you could basically technically create your own uh, processes that will generate code for you, and this whole process called annotation processors. Um, but obviously, uh, annotations or classes annotated with annotations, basically, you could have access to those. Well, not just classes, fields, methods, anything that you have with annotations, you can access them through um, reflection. And there has been a couple of there have been a couple of um, frameworks or libraries that are created through uh, annotation processing using reflection. Um, one of them was I think the first version of Dagger, and uh, again Juice by Google, which was deprecated because reflection is extremely slow, especially on Android devices. Um, so the Dagger 2, which uses an actual annotation processing, and um, Butterknife, well, Butterknife has used reflection. Um, it does use annotation processing, but not reflection. So yeah, basically the first version of Dagger, Juice, these are libraries that were initially created using um, annotation processing via reflection. So let's just cover the reflection version, and then um, we're gonna move forward to the actual annotation processing, and then we're going to start generator, uh, generating our own code. Um, but in this this very first video, I'm just going to do some refactoring, or not refactoring, some reorganization around our folders to make it, I guess, nicer in a way. So let's go ahead and do that. So we have our source here. I'm going to add a proper path to it. Source main um it's gonna be like a java um, you know like an actual package path which we didn't have before um, well you don't have to do it you can just um, if you're following along and coding you just since i'm going to be uploading to github you can just pull it and then um you should be you should be good to go um com All right. Perfect. So let's just move our main in there. Move all of our folders in there. Well, before we move our folders, let's go to our main. Okay. Do this. But yeah, ID is going to cry, so you're going to have to do this. Also, go to your project structure um, under dependencies. Go here. And you need to mark Java as your sort folder and not this. Okay, and then apply. Okay, so let's just start moving over our stuff. The reason I want to do that before because it'll do auto refactor. And if you look at the class paths, it will adjust. If you don't do that beforehand, then you will have to do it manually. We're doing this for all because we have a lot of these imports in our main which wouldn't work i mean they're all commented right now but you get it okay so it's still crying let's go here did not adjust it did adjust so i think it's crying hmm. let's go inside builders okay so yeah we should need to adjust all of them. Well, I'm just going to remove them for now. We're not depending on them in any way. Yeah, we're going to re-import the direct path. Okay, and go to our edit configuration for the main file and update this to this. Apply. Now let's run it. Okay, so it's running the code that we worked on the last video. Uh, we're going to see some there you go. Okay. I think I'm going to cut it out here for now. This is just the main setup. And then the next video, we're going to actually create an, uh, like a 
Like it's, it's kind of a small API that uses reflection to create our basically it's going to be a very 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 small version of Dagger, but um, it's well, it's not. I wouldn't call it a version of Dagger, but it will just do like something similar. It will basically will annotate a couple class and methods, well, a couple fields in a class with our own annotations, and then um, we're going to set those values using uh, our framework. Um, if it doesn't make sense now, just wait. And then uh, if you're familiar with Dagger, this should make sense. If it doesn't, just wait till the next video and then uh, it will make a lot more sense. Thanks.